on today's video I want to show you how to create a Pinterest grid in your websites with Webflow. How long is it going to take? Probably around two minutes. Everybody, what's up and welcome to another Webflow Weekly where I'm going to share a tip or how to do something really cool but really simply. So today we're going to do something like this, this kind of a famous Pinterest grid where it's um, it's also known as a masonry grid. They're not aligned, they're dependent on the um, size of the images. I've used this kind of a trick for a client website that I've designed recently and uh, I want to show you how easy it is to do in Webflow. So I've got a new website here. Um, let's go here to a new website. Um, it's Pinterest? Yep. All right. So I've already uploaded a bunch of images there that we can work with. So let's jump right into it. So as you can see, I've uploaded some images here. They have different sides. There's nothing here and I'm not really going to design it. So I'll just throw in a container so that everything will be aligned in the middle. And uh, let me just start throwing images inside here. And before I do a lot of them, I'll actually give this a style. I'll call this image grid just so that later on I can style them together um, with just using this one style. So I'm going to duplicate this like 10 times or something and uh, just replace the images. So I'm going to click and choose a different image and then a different image and then a different image. Okay, so this so far pretty easy. Um, the, the default positioning for images are in line. Um, but right now they're just being stacked one um, below the other. So let's say this is enough. Yeah, let's say this is enough. All right. So the way I'm going to do this, there's no really kind of like a ready-made component for this or a positioning for this, but there's a little hack. So I'm going to give a style to this container. Let's call this Pinterest grid. And the hack is right here. So it's not in any display setting. It's actually a typographic uh, style. And you can do this by just giving columns here. So if, if we would just turn this into um, like a normal grid or columns, it would try to create even size columns if I would turn this into a grid. And that's not what we want. But when you do a typographic columns, and let me, sh where was it? It's right here. So let's give it three columns, bam. As you can see, it just worked. And by default, it gives it a little bit of space, like what we call gutter between the columns, in which we can um, change here to style it however we want it. Um, and if we wanna give them a space between one another, um, then we can probably do something like add a bottom padding to the image, just like this. Um, so there it is. We have it. We have kind of like this Pinterest grid um, and it breaks weirdly because we're at the end of the page and this image can't fit here, but we can make the page longer. So if we want to control how the columns break. Now, one other really cool thing that we can do that. So this is just static images, but imagine that you want this to be for your project in your portfolio or whatnot. We well, can actually use this in the CMS. So let me just remove all these images and I've created kind of a, a CMS collection here with project. Those are just dummy projects, but let me go back to the page and uh, just throw in here like a collection list inside and choose this projects from the CMS. Now we have my collections breaking up in this grid. So if I would put here, let's say an image, um, and obviously, by the way, actually, if we want to make this a link, so we'll do something like a link block. And then inside this link block, we'll throw in an image. And because this is a dynamic and part of a collection, we can say, get the image from the, let's say main project image, bang. Now they, they are all the images from the project and they're all linkable. So let's, uh, let's call this grid image just so maybe we'll get the little spacing at the top. Now those are specifically the same kind of like height so you don't see the effect of the printer grid, but now they are linkable and each one will take you to the project page. And uh, yeah, we've created the Pinterest grid super, super easily using the typographic columns. Just a quick little hack. 
Hope you found it helpful. If you want to learn more about Webflow, you can definitely check out the link in the description to see my full-on Webflow course. And I'll see you on the next video.